uh, let me say let me say good morning to everyone and um, I wanted to take this opportunity to to name the uh, rest of the people that I am uh, pointing to the Metro board to join join with Karen Patman uh, who we the press conference I think was a couple of weeks ago a couple of weeks ago and so you know, you're okay. And so before I get started, I certainly want to acknowledge the city council persons who are here. Uh, Mayor uh, Pro Tem Ellen Cohen is here. Uh, council Member, uh, well, Vice Mayor Pro Tem Jerry Davis is, is, is present. Council Member uh, Michael Kubarsh, Council Member David Robinson, Council Member Brenda Stardick uh, um, are all here. These are all my favorite uh, city <laughs> council. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever's standing next to Whoever's next to So um, uh, to, uh, this morning, I'm recommending city council confirmation uh, next week or as soon as, as it can take place of two new city appointments and two reappointments to the Metro Board. Um, the University of Texas Health Science Center Professor Lex Frieden and Taylor uh, Construction Management President Troy Taylor of being appointed to the board for the first time. Uh, Sanjay Ramba and Christ, uh, Christoph Spieler are reappointments. It is good to have a mix of new ideas and institutional knowledge. Uh, this new board will reflect the diversity of Houston, and it is truly uh, reflective of the diversity of Houston uh, and a diversity of thinking and experience uh, that, will benef that will be beneficial uh, as Metro works to increase transit options and improve mobility in our area. Metro has made many improvements in recent years, and I want to see the agency continue to excel and address transportation, mobility, and, uh, and uh, transit. Lex Frieden, uh, Lex is recognized as one of the founders of the independent living movement in the early 1970s and was instrumental in conceiving and drafting the Americans with Disability Act of 1990. In addition to his teaching position at U University of Texas, he is an adjunct professor of physical medicine and rehabilitation at Baylor College of Medicine and directs the Independent Living Research Utilization Program at Tier Memorial Hermann. And I can say a lot, lot more. But Lex, thank you for um, being willing to serve. And I would tell you that I'm excited about having you as one of the board members for Metro because I think Lex will add uh, a certainly an added perspective uh, for so many, many people who are dependent on Metro Lyft and on Metro itself So um, and brings a wealth of knowledge and information. So thank you. Thank you. Troy, Troy Taylor, Troy has eight years of experience in healthcare development and seven years of life sciences and higher education experience. He has delivered 10 consecutive multi-million dollar capital improvement projects ahead of schedule and under budget. He has substantial experience in planning and construction of health care and industrial infrastructure facilities. And ironically, uh, Troy's father, Joseph, who is here with us today, um, is a retired bus a metro driver. And so, um, Troy, I'm excited about having you join the Metro Board with your experience, um, and not just your own professional experience. Your wife is a, is a partner of yours as well. Where's Kelly? Uh, she, is, she, is, <laughs> she is a partner in, in, in their business. And then uh, with, the, the, uh, uh, with your father being a retired Metro bus driver, it's just an added perspective that you bring. And so Metro, I think, can only be enhanced by your presence on the board. Even though Sanjay is not here, uh, let me just say Sanjay is vice president of CPNY, an architectural and engineering consulting firm specializing in water, waste, uh, wastewater, aviation, roads, and transit infrastructure, as well as energy and environmental management. He has extensive civic and community involvement that includes board positions, membership service to more than a dozen local organizations. Sanjay, with his added experience, especially as it relates to transit and transportation infrastructure, um, just lends a great deal of experience to this board, and so he is being re reappointed. Christoph Spieler, what can you say about uh, Mr. Spieler? 
when it comes to transit and metro, uh, when it comes to rebranding of metro, uh, when it comes to the vision of metro. Um, uh, Chris has an extensive experience in all of those areas, and I've had the opportunity to sit down and talk with him at, at length about uh, metro in its future direction. Uh, Christoph is Vice President and Director of Planning for the Houston Office of Morris Architects, where he works on a variety of public and private planning projects and head efforts on building information modeling. Uh, Christoph relies on Metro for most of his daily trips. He has written and spoken extensively on transit and urban planning and has helped Houston neighborhoods shape transportation projects. Um, and so, okay. And so, uh, so, Chris, thank you and look forward to working with you. I previously announced that Karen Padman would be the new chair of Metro, uh, pending City Council confirmation and Metro Board approval. Uh, she is with us today, and let me tell you, with her experience, uh, with her um, management skills, um, knowledge of Metro, knowledge of the whole political landscape, uh, being able to work with people on all different levels, uh, there is no question uh, that she would be a vision, visionary and transformative leader uh, for Metro and now surrounded with her new team. Um, I am simply expecting some great, great, great things uh, from Metro as we move forward. Karen, let me thank you again for being so So let me just say this, uh, this, this, is, this is the team uh, of Houston uh, now and as we move into the future. And I believe working together along with the other uh, 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 individuals on Metro uh, that we can expect great things for Houston and the Houston region uh, because it's a collaborative effort and we all have to work together to address our transportation, transit and mobility concerns. Having said that, I will stop and take uh, any questions that anyone may have. Mayor, can you just say, you know, you said you want great, great, great things for Metro. What do you mean by that specifically? Are you looking for any changes or anything, uh, change of direction or anything specific to come out of the agency in the next, you know, in the immediate future? You know, one of the things that I, that I spoke to several weeks ago was on transportation with respect to textile, uh, where I indicated that the Texas Department of Transportation we has channeled its resources based on that 97 percent of people who are in their vehicles, single occupancy vehicles. Uh, and yet this region is still the most congested uh, in, in the state, if not in the country. Uh, we have built out I-10 to 26 lanes. It's the widest uh, freeway in the world. Uh, it cost about $2.5 billion to do it about seven, eight years ago. And seven, eight years later, it is the I think eighth most congested area in, in, the, um, in the state. I think it points to the need that we need to have a paradigm shift. We need to offer multimodal forms of transportation. All of those elements need to be factored in and considered, whether it's commuter rail, the additional light rail, uh, whether it's uh, uh, creating more transit development. Uh, I mean, there are many, many options that are out there to provide more people, people with more choices. People do want to see a more urban, pedestrian, walkable city. City. They want to be able to walk to their destinations, or they may want to be able to get on a on a light rail train uh, to go to their destination. Um, so I think it's important for this board to establish what that vision is, and then to help to advise a plan to 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 reach that vision. But people need more choices. They need more choices. And we have to design a, a, city, a system uh, that will meet the needs of the three million plus people that the demographers are saying will be in our area over the next 10 to 15 years, which is the equivalent of another Chicago being put in the Houston region. Well, you can't have all these people coming into the region and they get, can't get from point A to point B. So um, I'm relying on this new board uh, under current Patman. Uh, to meet the future needs uh, of, our, of our community. It will be good for the economy, it will be good for businesses, job creation, the quality of life, uh, the environment, all of those things will be positively affected by the decisions that this board makes.